Hi, I'm Rob Griffith, Technical Support Manager here at Ion Audio. Today, I'll take you through getting your new Discover DJ set up on your Mac or your PC. The Discover DJ is a class compliant USB MIDI device. This means that there's no extra drivers for you to install in order to use it. The hardware drivers it needs are already built right into your computer's operating system. To get started, connect the Discover DJ to an available USB port on your computer. If you've never used a similar device with your computer before, the first time you connect it, Windows may take a few moments to configure the device. Next, let's install the included software. The Discover DJ includes Mixvibes Cross Discover DJ, a powerful computer-based DJ application. Since the software will automatically launch after we install it, and we'll be looking for a connected Discover DJ controller, let's perform the installation with the Discover DJ already connected to the computer. Insert the installation CD that was included with the product into your computer CD drive. The disk should automatically open. However, if Auto Run is disabled on your computer, you can also access the disk by going to your Start menu, choosing Computer, and navigating to your CD drive this way. Double-click Install Cross Discover DJ to begin. During the installation, Windows may ask for your permission to proceed. Answer Yes, Allow, or Continue to any of these messages. Choose the language appropriate for installation. Agree to the license agreement. Click Next, Next again, and then Install. The files will be copied to your computer. Once you click Finish, Cross Discover DJ will open automatically. The first time you launch the software, you'll be asked to enter your software license code. This can be found on the CD sleeve. Mixvibes Cross maintains a database of songs on your computer. This is called the collection. To add songs to your collection, go to the File menu at the top of the screen, choose Import, and then Directory. The most likely place for music to be found on your PC is your My Music folder. Highlight this and click OK. Any compatible songs will be instantly and automatically imported into your collection. If you're an Apple iTunes user, your iTunes songs and your playlists are also brought into Mixvibes Cross automatically. If you make a change in iTunes, the next time you launch Mixvibes Cross, the change will be reflected here as well. To load a song from your collection, use the Browse knob to select a song, then push Load A or Load B to load a song to deck. Once you have songs loaded to both Deck A and Deck B, press play to begin. Right on the Discover DJ, you have powerful controls for treble and bass equalization. Engage the scratch function in the center of the controller. You can scratch on either Deck A or Deck B. Notice that the tempo on Deck A will change from 105 to 95. The sync function allows you to automatically match the tempo on one deck to the tempo on another. This allows for easy and seamless beat matching. On most systems, the default settings will work great and you'll be able to get right to making music without making any adjustments at all. If your computer has multiple sound cards installed, an external audio interface, or if you're troubleshooting your playback settings, you can edit the software's audio preferences by selecting File, then Preferences. In the window that opens, select Audio at the top. Your computer's available sound card and any other output device options will be displayed here. Primary Sound Driver is selected by default. This refers to whatever sound card is selected for the rest of your computer system in Windows Sound Control Panel. For example, if you visit YouTube.com and play a video, whatever sound output the video sound comes from will also be used for Cross Discover DJ if Primary Sound Driver is selected here. Underneath this will be listed any other sound cards your computer sees. Most systems just have one. The Buffer Size option can be used to adjust delay or latency in the software. The computer requires some time to process incoming information from the Discover DJ controller and translate it into an action in the software. Depending on the computer you're using, you may notice a delay between the time you press a button or move a slider and when you hear the result in your computer speakers. The software's performance characteristics depend on several factors, such as the speed of your computer, how many background processes are active, like antivirus protection, and what kind of sound card you have. 
If you're experiencing a delay, adjust the buffer setting downward. Once you apply your changes, you should hear an audible improvement in the delay. Since your computer still requires some time to process input into an audible result, you should use the highest setting you can here as long as it gives you good results. Which setting is best for you will vary from system to system. However, the main idea is to achieve a balance between low latency and good system performance. If you've experimented with different buffer settings, but you're still experiencing delay or performance issues, we recommend visiting www.azioforall that's A-S-I-O, the number four, all, dot com, and downloading their free ASIO driver. This is a universal low latency sound card driver that will work with virtually any sound card found in today's PCs. It won't replace your computer's built-in sound card drivers, and it won't interfere with other programs or settings. If you've installed ASIO for all, or if you have another ASIO compatible device installed in your computer, you can choose ASIO here to use it. This concludes the Discover DJ setup video. For more information or for further product support, visit the Discover DJ product page at www.ionaudio.com.